Hello, welcome back uh, to my channel once again. Uh, Asher Steve here. So today we will be doing how we will uh, install the new uh, Linux uh, 21.04. So without much delay, let's kick in. So we will be using this virtual box to start off this. So uh, before installing, you should uh, have the uh, image file like uh, Linux uh, here. I have already downloaded the image file. So this one is 21.04 so the size of this is uh, 2gb nearly almost 3gb so you should have already downloaded the image file then only then we can start it. so I'm starting the fresh uh, from the scratch so let's begin that so let's go to this virtual box as the virtual box has been fired out so go to the new and then just give a name here uh, 21.04 and then 64 bit you have to select that and it's up to you which uh, ever like uh, how many memory of uh, MB of RAM you want to give so let's say we will give here uh, yeah so I'm going to give here 2 GB of RAM which is uh, 2048 MB and then we selected the virtual here and then we create it and then in the direction here, I'm going to change not in a C drive, but I'm going to put to another drive. So let's go to this C drive where I have already created VM here. So I want to create this one and put here. Ubuntu 21.04. So let's open this and then I want to save it here. So now I've changed and that they have put by default the size should be 10 GB. And I'm going to give here 15 GB. Okay. So now by default the hard disk type is selected as virtual disk image and uh, storage uh, physical hard disk is uh, dynamic. That's okay. So we'll just create. So as of now we have just created but we did not uh, give the image file as of now so let's go to the start a uh, settings here from the settings you go to this storage and this from this storage we will just uh, attach the image file as of now here so go to the IDE and then there's an empty file here just click that and from here you can also select the image file so when you go and here choose the file type and you can see some file here but this is not the one so I'm going to choose that select it and then you go and select the image file which you have downloaded so in my case 21.04 I'm selected that click open and you will see here it's already listed if it's not listed you can here again and you can select that after that you just click ok and now we are good to go we just have to fire and click the start button so we have clicked the start button and then uh, and now you can see the pop-up windows that is starting up and now it is trying to put up so now you will see the image of this it's already open to graphics so it's up to you like whichever you want to but right now I'm going to take this so let's enter and then and hit enter there and it's trying to put up the image so it's starting now it's loading the image file so there's uh, some of the new features they already have uh, in this Ubuntu dark mode uh, options it's already activated the terminal uh, by default it has already black the dark mode so we will give this time to put up to the system so it is a little bit uh, slow uh, since we are starting from this so right now in my C drive there is less memory that is one thing that is during the installation so now as you can see the screen has already uh, pop up so now you can see here as a welcome uh, screen has there so now you can select the English and then this is not the one we have to install this Ubuntu so if you want to try without installing you can try with this but we are going to install so we select this install and now we come 
to the keyboard layout so it's selected US and English language is English that's okay fine click next and now they have an options like uh, what apps would you like to install to start with so normal installation that's okay and there are also these things you can select that minimal installation if you want it to install minimal that you can also select that and other options like uh, you want to download while installing Ubuntu this may take longer time so after the installation so you can do this so you can untick that so just installation is okay so and we click continue so if you have installed the Windows updates and all that so there should be internet connectivity as I saw have this internet access so whatever is uh, missing in the system they can uh, pull it from the cloud so nice screen uh, has pop up like installation type so this computer currently has no detector operating system would you like to do so now they are telling us that uh, they will erase the whole uh, disk for installing so erase this and install Ubuntu that's okay but if you change your mind if you want to do something else you can also change and then you can recreate resize by choosing this but as of now this is just installations for this so uh, I will select this this which we have created by giving 15 GB so it's okay that's fine so we can just uh, click this install now so now it is telling us to this write the changes to disk so I'll just click continue so this will select the uh, particular part, uh, partition which is assigned and they will uh, create so now we have to select uh, particularly which region so we are in India so we select this Kolkata that's fine continue so now you have to give your username so I'll give my username here Steve there and uh, password as you like so but you have to remember and you have to type it okay so it have to match what they have to match after that so the installation process is starting now so till then I will post the video and resume when it is done it will take some time so now the installation is completed and now we need to restart the system so we will click this restart button to restart on the system so let's wait and see till the system has been restarted so it's restarting now so here one thing you have to do is like uh, you have to go to this uh, main one where the install file is here so now go to the settings then go to this storage once again and this time if it is here you have to remove this and make it empty then it should be okay by the time so now as you can see our system has been rebooted and then now we have to put our password so I just click the name and then they ask the password so I have put the password previously I've put so now you can just press enter and it should be logging and we should uh, be able to see the login screen so now as you can see the our login screen has appeared and now you can see the things are here so now you can go to this Eclipse show this application and you can see that uh, so many has been installed here you can see all those of thing has been uh, so let's go to the screen once and you can see the screen window selection uh, this is area there given there so you go to the home where you see all your folders out here you can close that and you can go to the desktop files terminal change background you can see that 
appearances so as you can see there are some uh, appearances like background you can choose from so they have given this by default they have given the default uh, like there and appearance you can see here also so you want light dark see here standard so we can choose the dark as well here choose a dark option so auto hide progress if you want that you can select okay so I will remind this later because uh, remember we did not select that uh, software updates and all that so that's what they are giving us the pop-up so there are a lot of things uh, you can do the settings and uh, for me I feel so this is the 36 editions of this uh, Ubuntu since 2000 so they have done a lot of the, this uh, terminal so we can also open the terminal and see that so you can see that there are also terminal this year or you can also go to this uh, as well you can type here also terminal so you can see here so you can just click that and it is also given you but the thing is they have again also gives from here as well and some of the display settings you can see here which we have already seen that and then you can also see some help some about two softwares so you can just play around and, and i hope the this appearance and all the so guys uh, i hope this video has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you and see you in the next video and please do subscribe like and share thank you